is so pretty. Yeah, my honey. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm not feeling well, but I'm here. What's that? So I'm not feeling well, but I'm okay. So you're, you 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 say you come to infect us all? Is that yeah. What you're yeah. Come up here and sit by me. No, that's that's some nasty stuff that's going around. Yeah, man, it hit me all of a sudden, and right between the eyes. Everybody in the office has gotten it. Really? Uh, you need to go home. He's going to as soon as this meeting. I've tried to stay home the last couple of days, but, and I'm probably going to go home right after this meeting. Oh. So and sorry. it lingers forever. Don't tell me that. Ain't nobody got time for That's that. That's the good news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good morning. 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 It is nine o'clock. We're here for our regular weekly board meeting for March twenty second. We have a full board here today, along with administrator and clerk and and the audience. So. Uh, with that, if everybody is in, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America, and, and, to, America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> well, according to our agenda, we have a relatively short meeting today, so. The, uh, our first item on the uh, National Ledge is public comment. Do you want to speak up? Uh, with that, we'll go right into office business then. And, uh, Commissioner Thank you. We have uh, warrant register and payroll rosters. Yep. And since we're now separating those, I'll do them in the correct order. It looks like the uh, first one is fund expenditures. Move for approval of fund expenditures in the total amount of $292,867.46 as presented. And note for the record that uh, it's been reviewed by the county administrator and the auditor's office. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And move for approval of payroll rosters for county roads and motor vehicle in a total amount of $148,410.51. And this has also been reviewed and signed off by the auditor's office. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Directly into the consent agenda, then this is going to be a record breaker. Recommended. Yeah, just to look at the consent. Mm -hmm. Just doing a final check on all the topics. I think we've all looked at them already. Yeah. And just turn it to ready move for approval of the consent agenda as presented, eight items total. I uh, will second the motion. No further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Realize the meeting is already running long, but uh, <laughs> we can take a minute to go ahead and sign this and that'd be good.
All right. Keith, what do you have for us today? Just uh, briefly, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I think all of you probably received an email this morning, an uh, update on the county roads. I just wanted to mention that uh, in the meeting today. We're down to now less than a dozen sections of road that still have uh, some form of closure. Uh, but the public works folks are working as quickly as they can to get those remaining roads open. Uh, they've done, made some great progress the last week with uh, getting roads open that were closed and causing some problems. I think we're uh, making good headway to getting everything open. Um, Glade North, as you know, which was a real problem area, has been paved and is going to open uh, during the last week. Uh, looks good. I've been up there a couple of times. And uh, Governor Ainsley did uh, declare some emergency funding available for Franklin County. We we're working through that process with uh, state military and then also with FEMA on federal funding to see if we can get appropriate declarations to help us with some of the financial burden. That, that's going to take some paperwork and some bureaucratic time to work through all of that, but we anticipate that that will be helpful to offset some of it. Are there going to be any FEMA money left after that money went through? Well, that's a good here. question, yeah. And uh, like I said, that's going to take some decision-making at a higher level to authorize that. We hope that will take place. I just wanted to make sure you're aware of that current situation. I know you get lots of questions about it. So uh, two quick items on the same topic. One, and I'm pretty sure I speak for the the whole board and the staff on this, and that is how much we appreciate the extra effort on the part of the road crews who typically get uh, the short end of public criticism, <coughs> anxiety, and temperament, and, and yet they work through it all and do it safely and get roads open, and it would be uh, entirely proper for us to recognize them and, and express our appreciation. And, I've already talked to Matt about maybe us finding an opportunity to do that once we're past all 200 of the, of the areas. Uh, second thing I'd note is that you know we had 200 sections of road that were damaged and we had lots and lots of road closed. And while it seems like it's been a long time, uh, it's actually been less than 30 days. And an awful lot of work has been accomplished in that time. I'm sure there are many people who wanted more done faster, but that is sort of the the nature of uh, human beings, too. So uh, I think they deserve a pat on the back for all their effort. And let's see, there was some other thing, but that one was more important. <laughs> Actually, I have a couple other topics when we move on off of this one. That's all I had. To you say it's weather. Items. So, um, recently, uh, in the last week or so, I was approached by the small group of people who are working with the Congress and with the Corps of Engineers about the possible return of shorelands back to the Tri-Cities. Mm -hmm. um, there is, to my knowledge, one National Historic Register property that is along the river, river levee system, and of course, uh, that's uh, where I live. And this group approached me and asked me to do a, a short video clip. They're doing a, a video to present to all the different city councils and local jurisdictions. And uh, so I just want to be clear and on the record that I agreed to do that. It's uh, probably going to be maybe a grand total of 10 seconds in the whole thing. Uh, and I was there speaking as a, as a property owner, not as a county commissioner. And I think that's clear in my remarks, but I'd like to be on the record about such things. Um, and all I did was talk about the history of the property and how it predates the levees and the dams by almost half a century, which is a piece of history a lot of people don't realize. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second item, if it's all right to move on, is the uh, uh, Hispanic Chamber had Attorney General Rob Ferguson here yesterday uh, as their lunch speaker. And it was, uh, it was very interesting. He did a, a very, uh, very nice job of uh, keeping the comments short and taking lots of questions, which I think is always a, a great uh, strategy to find out what's on people's mind. He talked about uh, marijuana. He talked about his staff and uh, 
I'll just touch a little bit more detail on those two things quickly. One, some of the questions around marijuana focused on uh, why uh, is the state continuing to issue licenses for marijuana retail operations in cities like Pasco where it's been banned, and he pointed out that uh, the state has a provision uh, based on the initiative to make it legal and to issue licenses. Uh, that's only one part of the process. A local jurisdiction then also has to issue its own business license. And they uh, don't see that it's appropriate to deny somebody a license at the state level just because they may or may not get a license at the local level. Keeping in mind that cities can and often do change your mind about things. And so they issue the state license and uh, it uh, belongs to that individual, and at some point in the future, if the city should change their mind, that license is still there. I asked him if there was a lifespan on those licenses issued by the state. He said he didn't know. Um, and then the second piece of that was, uh, the question was, how is it that local jurisdictions can deny people the right to uh, produce, process, retail marijuana? I think it, the question was specifically about retail, but I think this covers all of it. Um, and, uh, and then local jurisdictions say no. And he pointed out that the language in the initiative uh, did not require local jurisdictions to follow the state lead. And he said, and uh, as it is, he said, if you think about it, if the state were to require that the lesser jurisdiction of counties follow the state rule, then the counties could simply insist that the state a lesser entity than the federal government follow the law of the federal government. So in other words, if the state can compel the counties, then the feds can compel the state, was how he put it. Uh, paraphrasing. I thought that was interesting. Um, and lastly, he, uh, he looked very much like a potential gubernatorial candidate. <laughs> to say. Um, it's a long ways off, but uh, <coughs> he did, he did a, a nice job. Mm. And I think that's it. Right. Also, in that same uh, line of thought with the, the marijuana licensing, uh, Kittitas County is challenging the liquor board over the same issues. So they're uh, actually going to go to court, go to court with it. So. Is that uh, on the issuing of licenses? Or? No, it's... Uh, Policy ignoring local zoning, uh, GMA, when evaluating the issue in marijuana related oh. licensing. Okay, yep. So, um, they're uh, actually looking for a letter of support for Kittitas County. It's not a, quite a precus, but uh, it's. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you should find it in your, uh, in your inbox from Eric Johnson. So. Did that come in since yesterday? Uh, it came in yesterday, 1038. Hmm. Okay, I'll look again. Hmm. Anything else? I uh, will be leaving here momentarily for Blaine for risk roll uh, spring meeting. So uh, I'll be out until uh, I'll be back in County Friday evening. Well, don't take any risks driving across the state. Exactly. Do, do you mind for any that? Because we didn't get it. I didn't get it. Oh, sure. Yeah, I don't see it either. No. Oh, okay. But the uh, can pass down. Yeah, no, I'll put it on screen. I appreciate that. Thank you. <coughs> so, other than that, um, another spot for public comment. Do we have anybody to speak up? Got something for us, stay down? I don't. All right. Dennis? No. Nope. All right. Board? Keith? Good. Hearing nothing. Nothing, Sherry? We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.